I'd like to present an interesting case of a middle-aged gentleman who happened to be a pilot who was found to have a mass in his language area. The mass was not affecting him in any way in terms of his function or significant symptoms, but the implications of the mass in terms of the biology were critical. And because it was in his language area, the decision about surgery, non-surgery, resection versus biopsy all came into play. Because of the concern of that this could be a higher grade tumor in his age group, uh, he needed to have a diagnosis. So the decision was for surgery. And because resection is better than biopsy for these kind of problems, then the decision was made for an awake craniotomy. So the, the, the patient had his craniotomy. As it turned out, his language area was just behind the uh, entry point down to the tumor. So that made it a little bit challenging. Uh, the, re the access to the tumor was restricted in that sense, but uh, we were able to access the tumor. And using um, uh, microscopic enhancement, working through a small area and with him talking, we were able to completely remove the mass. The biology uh, came back as a grade two astrocytoma, so he does not need any adjuvant therapy. Uh, he just needs monitoring uh, for, on a regular basis with MRI scans. Uh, the long-term issue with this diagnosis is that recurrence typically does occur. And so it is likely that at some point additional treatment would be needed, but at this point it's monitoring only.